is at it again with the Revelry folks. Rebranding a Motorola G7 and making it a special case for a special customer. Did they get it right? Check it out in my video. So here we have it folks, the T-Mobile Revelry. Yes, the regular Revelry, the latest and greatest in mid-range phones or entry phones from T-Mobile. This is a branded Motorola device. From what I've researched, it is very good compared to the previous Rebel and Rebel 2 products that they were offering before. This phone, as of the posting of this video, is starting at $200. We're getting a really good Android stock Android experience. It's swift, it's sleek, it's fast. It has a little notch at the top, trying to give you that iPhone feel of a premium device. It also has a 720p display, folks. We're talking beautiful, bright colors. What else do we got here? Let's enter retail mode and it'll tell you. It'll tell you what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a beautiful 5.7 inch HD display. A processor that doesn't lag too much. We're talking about an octa-core Snapdragon processor. It's not the latest and greatest at speed, but for what it gives you for the size of the device, for the stock Android experience, it gives you a swift experience for the price. Very good compared to other devices that are around $200 in the market. And the camera, we're talking about a beautiful front facing camera, a beautiful back camera at 13 megapixels, very good device. And batteries, it has fast charging and up to 40 hours of battery. And this is beautiful marketing from Motorola. This is going straight from them. This is their specs, the information they want you, the consumer to know. And I'm giving it to you right here as Joey the Snapper. Let's go all the way down as well. Storage, it gives you 32 gigabytes of storage and it expands, expandable memory folks, expandable memory. So you're getting a device that is competing with the Pixel phones because the Pixel 3a phones do not give you the expandable memory, but they do give you the 64 gigabytes of storage. We get 32 here of expandable memory. And you get that fingerprint reader as well in the back. Very comfy, very comfy fingerprint reader. You also get the face ID with the front camera. Here we have the front camera. Now let's talk about camera with this device. As we mentioned earlier, it does carry a 13 megapixel camera. Let's go into the camera menu. So we're gonna go back home. And we're gonna go into the camera here. Let's check out that 30, 13 megapixel snapper. Notice it's in sync with Google Photos, which means that it will automatically, automatically sync your photos into Google Photos. So you'll have that unlimited cloud storage option in addition to the 32 gigabytes that's already in the phone. Similar to what the Google Pixel is trying to give you, a seamless photo snapping experience. Snap, snap, snap. So let's continue. So immediately when you get into the camera, you have all these options. You have a beautiful portrait mode, a live filter, a panorama mode. Yes, folks, this $200 budget device gives you a panorama mode. YouTube Live, if you wanna go straight into YouTube and broadcast, time lapse, slow motion video, it gives you everything. If you just wanna go to the regular camera, you just go right here, press the camera, and you have yourself a regular camera. Here we are, folks. So here we are with the regular camera. Very, very good for the price, honestly. I would. You know, me looking, obviously you're not gonna get the exact quality um, looking through another camera, but I will say this. It gives you a lot of detail. It has a good, good depth, as you can see. I will say this. Um, it is comparable to the camera on the OnePlus 6T. <laughs> yeah, that's saying a lot. So the camera is very comparable. It might be a step underneath that quality camera, but you're still getting a pretty good camera for a $200 device. Now, what about the picture and video streaming? Let's check that out. Boom, we're on YouTube, connected to the internet. Give me one second as we connect. We are connected to this great Wi-Fi, folks. I love my Wi-Fi, it's amazing. Do not, do not judge the phone because of this connection. There we go, so here we have the YouTube experience. It's, it's not too slow and it's not too fast. It's pretty okay in speed. I really enjoy the fact that you can scroll like that. I like testing my phone speeds doing that. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So let's watch this uh, an HD video over here. Let's put some some 4k of course this is not a 4k display but let's see if we can down up into something really beautiful so let's go wow now again you have that notch up there so to the iphone so to the motorola g7 power wow folks let's go up to the resolution see if we can increase that resolution over here we're gonna go up to 720p which is the highest the display has increase the brightness to the max so you have that in screen drop down menu as you can see it's pretty swift you, you have your max brightness there. It's not slow. You could also enlarge your screen to a full screen display. Let's increase the volume and see if we could get that audio out. <clears throat> Let's see. So you are getting that beautiful 720p display with colors that pop. Very beautiful colors, folks. This is very, very close to HDR quality in my opinion. Stunning display. For the price, folks, you're getting a tremendous device. You're getting a device that's giving you HD picture, stunning HD picture at a 5.7 inch display. Big, it's bigger than an iPhone. 
7 plus display it is stunning folks stunning look at that look at that zoom in and out as you saw the multitasking is swift let's see how this phone does if we decide to watch the video and go to the home screen it's still running it's running pretty swiftly not too slow not too fast but it's running at a good speed and there you have the video playing in the background overall this phone's pretty cool let's, let's close this out so what about the handle? Well, it's sort of a matte plastic in the back. It feels pretty nice in the hand. It's not the firmest, but it's not, oh my God, dead, dead slippery. It's a little slippery. It's firm enough that you're not gonna drop it. Of course, you put a case on it and you're good. You have a USB type C on the bottom, so you'll be able to charge it with the new type C chargers. You do have a headphone jack. Yes, folks, a headphone jack. You don't get those in a lot of phones nowadays, but now you're getting it still in the entry model and mid-tier phones on the market. You're getting a good camera. Again, 13 megapixels in the cap. In the back and you have color correcting you can edit the pictures already with the software already on the device it's pretty pretty cool folks pretty cool so yeah that's that's the uh t-mobile revelry folks revelry revelry is here to rebel and give you a good phone for a 200 dollars price let's close it out oh and it also has some always on display just in case you guys did not see that this is the demo headset but as you can see here's the trailer for motorola from motorola display. You have the beautiful fast focus on the camera. That's another feature that this camera has and offers. Brighter selfies. You have a good nighttime LED flash up here. 40 yard battery life is going to last you for a while. Really, really good device for the price. Instant fingerprint unlock. Great. There you have it, T-Mobile Revelry. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you share, and let me know. We're gonna be talking about the Revelry Plus in another video as well. And as always, Joey the Snapper is here for you and here to entertain you and here to give you the best of the best. Enjoy it, folks. Have a great and wonderful day.